Hey everybody and welcome to All Fired Up. So this week we're going to be making the faceplate for the helmet. So I had my faceplate um, taped up and I've cut it out so I've got the pattern. So let's take you over to the pattern. Alright so I've got the pattern here. Doesn't look like much but we've got a bit of a side profile going on. So this will come out to be down by the throat. And this will be the jaw. This line here is where we're going to flute and bring that edge back down. So we've got our piece cut out. So we've got a border line here. So we need to stretch this area. We need to stretch this area. And in through here, we need to shrink it. So what we're going to do is just put a, uh, so what we're going to do is put a light dish in up here, and a light dish down here, flip it over, give this whole inside a light dish the opposite way, and then we'll take it from there. So I've given it a light dish at the top. And a light dish at the bottom. I was going to dish in the middle here. But if I do that, it's going to upset the curves. So I'm just going to stick to my original plan and just shrink in the middle here. So we have this as dished as we can in my dish and stump. So we're starting to get the profile we want. Here we need to shrink it. So we might shrink it now and see what it looks like. Then come back and flare this bottom edge. So it's starting to take shape. We've got to raise it a little bit more in through here. Um, and probably shrink it a little bit more through this line here. But we're, just, we're definitely making progress. So that's the side profile. I don't want to tr uh, shrink this anymore. I'm pretty happy with that. Might tidy it up a little bit. Um, this is a little long through here, so we'll probably take off a little bit on the bottom, but we'll leave that to very last. Want to do a little bit more dishing just on this bottom piece here, um, just to make it more of a, a chin pronounce. And then again, we're going to trim it along that line there. It's just uh, growing a bit too long. Yeah, the next step is to put it over the dish and stump and just dish this area here. Might need to raise it, I'm not sure yet. We'll see how we go on the dish and stump. All right, so I've given it a, a quick clean. Still got some more plenishing to do just on those spots there. Just see how we've got these little marks. While I could sand them out, um, that's just gonna thin out the material and there's no real point. So, you know, another 30 seconds worth of tapping and we can get them out uh, without any loss of thickness. So uh, I've also trimmed it down a little bit on the bottom and a little bit on the top. So that's how it came out. We're pretty happy with that. So we're going to have lames on the bottom and we're going to have two lames on the top. So I'm going to make the next lame out of 1.2 and then back to 2 mil for the top of the visor. So I'm going to tape it make the pattern, then I'm going to cut the pattern out, and we're going to do it. Alright, so I have the piece here. So I've made up the second piece. So the idea is that will fit there nicely. There we go. On there like that. So I'm going to put a drill hole there. Then I need to taper 
quite like that how that comes back like that, but I'll probably end up making that straight line. But I also need to cut some of this off, so I'll be on a that type of angle. But we'll get to that. So as you can see, there's quite a lot of overlap. Um, and the whole idea of this lane here is so it can drop down just to help with the, the breathing between the fights and the battles. All right, I have my pattern here. So what we're going to do is give it a light, light dish through the whole lot. Then we're going to put a flute through the middle here and have this angled back towards the top of the helmet. So we're giving the piece a light dish. The next thing we're going to do along this black line here is raise that section up, dropping the section back down. Um, so it's going to be a triangle raise, so it'll be quite a thick one right through that whole line. Alright, so I've put in the big triangle flute. I've also put in a flute at the top. So if we just left this how it is, and a sword thrust went into the face, that there will go straight into the eyes. So what we want to do is we want to put a rolled edge along this line here. So I'm going to use this little stake, and I'm going to do an upside down flute. All right. I have added the old edge and moved that flute down a little bit. So I've got some cleanup work to do. Um, and I still need to bring this flute here down to match this flute. But it's definitely taking shape. Okay, so I'm up to the next stage working out where I want the holes to be. So I've put in some rough um, dots where I like the holes. So the next process is to find the center of all where all that is, uh, center punch it and drill them out. Then down the bottom here, I need to make the final two skirts. And then it's disassemble everything, clean it, buff it, and uh, do the final assembly. We also need to come back and put the bars in here the bars will be coming from this bottom gorget plate up into the brim. So yeah, there you go, that's what it's going to look like from side on. Alright, so the, the gorget faceplate um, is pretty much all made. Got the holes roughed in, so I still need to do a lot of cleaning up. Uh, but the helm's pretty much intact. All I've got to do now are the bars going up. One there, one in the centre, one there. Um, but I'll wait till I've got the steel in to do that. So I'll come back to that next week. It's looking pretty good. Pretty happy with it. Um, so that faceplate here... There's two lames, they'll articulate all the way down. Those bottom lames will articulate all the way up. So you've, you'll have your full movement. So where I've got this bit of tape is there'll be a leather strap that will run around the back of the helmet and will do up on the side. So I'm just taping it on for now. Next week's video will be on cleaning the helmet up and polishing it and finishing it. Uh, but that's pretty much it for this week. So that's what I've been up to. If you have any questions, pop them in the questions below. Otherwise, thank you for watching All Fired Up, and we'll see you next week for the, hopefully the final video of this helmet.